Everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com, and as you probably know already, we're going to be learning uh, "Wanna Dead or Alive" by Bon Jovi today. This video is going to take care of all the, uh, you know, the main intro and all the rhythm guitar parts. And the next uh, video will be the solo. All right, so let's jump right into it. First of all, this is on a 12-string guitar. That's why it's going to sound a little bit different than the recording. So if you have a 12-string guitar, uh, play the exact same thing I'm doing here on it, and it'll sound more authentic. But it still sounds great even on a six string acoustic or even an electric. So uh, let's get to it. Now, it's a little bit tricky in the beginning because we have some slides here while we're, you're sliding while you're picking other notes. So let's just get the pattern down first. We're going to start here with your second finger at the 14th fret on the G string and then the first finger at the 13th fret on the high E. So all the notes that we're going to finger in this, this intro, they're going to be on the, the third and first strings only, okay? So first we're going to pick the open D string, then the third string, then the first string, then come back down to that third string and slide. when you pick that note again, slide it down to the twelfth fret. So we have this. All right. So that very first little picking pattern is different from the rest of the ones uh, throughout the intro. All right, so you basically had to pick four, four strings. But now we're gonna have, in the left hand, we're gonna have, you're gonna have, still have that 12 there on the, the G string, but add the 12 now on the high E with your third finger. But now the picking pattern is gonna be, and it's gonna be like this the rest of the time, the rest of the intro, is we're gonna pick the D string, open D string again. This is after you did the slide, okay? So we're gonna have the open D string, first string, then the third string. So it's three notes, three strings. And whenever you pick that third string, you slide it down again. In this case, down to the 10th fret, same exact finger shape that you just had. Take the same pattern again. Then slide that down to the ninth fret. Now you're gonna now, on the first string, you're gonna have the at the eighth fret here, so that same pattern there. And slide all the way down to the fifth fret. So that's a longer slide, four frets. Okay, so so far we got. All right, now we're at fifth fret on the high E, fifth fret on the G. Slide down one fret to the fourth fret on the G string. And then you're going to have the third fret here on the high E. Same three note picking pattern. Now to end it here, we just did those three notes, but now you're going to pick that third string again. So you're going to pick it twice in a row. So we go. Then slide it down to the second fret and then just play that. Along with it, let it ring with it the first fret on the high E. So you don't go down to the open D there on the very end. Of course, that open D should still be ringing from before. All right, then you repeat that all again. So this happens multiple times. This little, uh, it's a cool little riff throughout the songs in D minor. Um, so you want to make sure you get that down. Uh, oh, one quick note, at the very beginning of the song, we do have some atmospheric stuff. Let me just cover what's going on there. We have this little... It actually sounds an octopire that. It sounds almost like it's on a sitar or something. What he's doing there is a D minor triad. Fifth fret, then sixth fret on the B, then seventh fret on the G. And then play the fifth fret here on the second string. So just bar across the first and second string there with your index finger and just go then lift up the second finger 
All right, you'll hear that a couple times. You'll hear a couple harmonics. It's at the seventh fret on the D string. All right, and now he has, he ends that section with a D suspended second chord, which is basically like a D major chord, but take your first, your, your second finger off that high E string, just leave it open. All right, um, and also strum the fifth string in it. And, that low A, get that in there, and strum it right across, real close to the bridge. All right, you'll hear that at the very uh, beginning of the song. All right, so that's just kind of for completeness sake. All right, so now let's get to the actual, uh, you know, progressions after that intro. We have basically four chords in this song, and we have uh, a couple of fills. And after you got those down, you should be able to find your way throughout the song pretty well. So this one fill that we have is this. So that's the open A string twice. And then the third fret on the A string, just slightly bent. And then over to the open D string. And then the third fret on that string, slightly bent. Then back to the open D. Now hold that D suspended second chord again, which is, you know, without that, with a high E open there. And we have, you're going to pick across to the third string, and then pick from the second string all the way across to the fourth string. And then when you hit this open A string, it goes right back into that phrase. So we got that little. All then just go to an F chord, F bar chord, first fret, and then the D chord. But he just pretty much just hits the four middle, the, the low, this open A in the bass again. Kind of fills up the sound of that D chord. And the rest of it's on normal D chords all the way to the second string, but don't hit that first string this time. All right. Then we take it to the actual verse. So that's just strumming the D major chord, full D now. Then we have a melody on the D string. So that's just played with your pinky coming down on the third fret, then back down to that normal second fret with the middle finger, then open E string, then back to the second fret. So the nice, easy strum while you're doing that. All right, then we come to the C add nine chord, which is basically the third fret on the, both the high E and the B string here. And then the first finger at the second fret on the D, and then the middle finger at the third fret on the A string. Then for the next chord, the G standard G chord, move these uh, the first and second string. Uh, I'm sorry, first and second fingers, move them up one string. Pretty easy move. All right, now we have the next fill that he does in a song. All right, so you're hammering on the open A, hammer on to the second fret. And then they play the open D string and G string. Anybody played Sweet Home Alabama? You've done that before. So we have. All right, so we have this. Back to the C, add nine. Back to the G. Same 
lick again, and then back to the F, and then the D. Now this D, at the end of the verse every time, he just kind of, he'll pick it like, like a normal D, and then lift up his second finger and make it suspended and pick across it. Or sometimes he'll do it kind of like he did in the intro of the song. All right, so really kind of do what you want. It's just really a random thing he's doing there. All right, then you go back through those chords again, and you have the verse. It's basically verse usually repeats twice. All right, and then we have the chorus, which is usually the, uses the same chords, just a little bit different. Uh, it starts with the C, add nine. To the F, to the D. And I, then we're going to end it with it. Whenever he's singing Dead or Alive, singing those lyrics, he's doing that little... Start with a little bend at the third fret on the A, open D, bend at the third fret on the D, and end it with a D chord. Alright, then we go back into the little intro thing again, and he goes back through the verse and back through the chorus. All right, so then we have the um, the solo, which we'll take care of in the next video. Now, coming out of the solo, a lot of the same chords, really. He'll start, they start, sometimes they'll double something. They'll do it twice in a row. But they do do a couple of things a little bit different. First coming out of the solo is the chorus. He's add the electric guitar here. Um, so they're not doing a lot of the fills anymore. They're just playing the big open chords. So that's coming out of the solo. They do, go through the, the chords of the chorus, the D, and the second time around, they stop to that little lick. And then they start building up on the D chord. Then we're back to a verse again. Feel free to put those uh, licks in there anytime you want, or or not. Just strum the chords. It's still the same song. All right. So we have um, the very end of the song. He'll do. He does this little thing. Uh, all right. So that's just basically that same fill. Third fret bend at the fifth on the fifth string, open D, and then the slide bend at the third fret on the D string to the G chord, and then same thing to the D. All right, so coming out of that part, he goes back into the outro, which is played exactly like the intro, except the very ending. So what's going on there? Now, one quick note, I think I forgot to mention it in the intro. When you start it, it's picked straight across opening with that open D. But watch when I come back around and start again. See how that D was, it was on an upbeat. So watch for that, how it starts back over. But as we crawl down, the very last time going through the chord. This time you don't hit this twice and slide it down. You just hit it once and then switch right to a D major chord. And that is the end of the song. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do that solo. Lots of... Uh, squealing harmonics all over the place so but it's a fun one all right i'll see you there bye bye